Hi, I'm Andrea Hoffman, respiratory therapist with Rochester Oxygen CPAP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot five of the most common issues with the AirSense 10 device. So the first one we're going to talk about is the plug or the power source. So on the plug, there's actually two parts to it. So when it comes in the bag, it comes with these guys disconnected. So a lot of times when the patient puts that plug in, it doesn't get connected all the way. So it's kind of loose and therefore the machine is not going to get the power. The indicator on here that it's plugged into the wall is a green light. So you want to check to make sure that green light is on. That'll tell you that this cord is plugged into the wall. Then you need to put your power source into the device and that just pushes in all the way. So I have patients that call me and have no power to the device. I always have them check the power cord from here to the wall, checking both connections to make sure they're tight. Then I want you to check to make sure that that plug is not on a switch, because obviously if the switch is off, you're not going to have any power to your device. So nine times out of the ten, if you check those few things, that'll fix the issue with the power source. Number two issue that I come across is the water chamber. So if your water chamber, sometimes it can be tricky, um, especially if you have any issues with your uh, hands, it can be tricky to get that water chamber just right. So if it's not in all the way and you go to start your therapy, you're going to be able to hear a very large leak. And in just a moment, the machine's going to stop. It's going to give you an attention on the front of your screen right here, and you can see your button up here is blinking. So if you were to try to start your therapy, okay, well that stopped, maybe it's fixed, you're going to see that you can't start your machine. It will not start. It doesn't matter how many times I press this. You have to acknowledge the attention. So regardless of what this says up here, you have to acknowledge that you saw it or the machine will never turn back on. So I'm going to read it. Okay, it says, high leak detected, check your water tub. So I'm going to, okay, that's my water chamber. I'm going to acknowledge it and then I'm going to fix the problem. Oh, it wasn't in all the way. I'm going to make sure it's in all the way. And then I should be able to turn my CPAP on. And it's going to run normally. Number three issue that I come across is the tubing. So on this tubing, you can see that the ends are very different. This is a heated hose system. If you were using a standard tubing, the ends are going to be identical and this would be a non-issue. But if you were to put your tubing in incorrectly, okay, so this end's going here and I'm putting this end into my mask. This is very bulky, very heavy, and is not creating a seal. So you're going to have a lot of leakage out of here. Um, also on the screen, if you were to go into my options, you are not going to find climate control, which generally, normally, if your tube is connected, you would find on here. All you see is a humidity level. So what you need to do is, oh, my tubing is backwards. How'd that happen? I'm going to fix that. I'm going to connect this guy correctly by using my little connector here in the back of the device. And my machine is going to show me that now my tubing is connected correctly. Number four that I have a common issue with is the quick disconnect. So each mask has a quick disconnect. This allows you to disconnect your mask and wear it to the bathroom. That way in the middle of the night you don't have to worry about getting your mask um, off and then back on in the dark. So when I get that back pinched in there, that now connects. The issue is, is if you forget your di quick disconnect in the mask, if you were to receive a new mask and try to put it in your hose, it is not going to fit. So I'm going to tell you that every hose fits every CPAP mask. They're universal. So if this were to be an issue, either your new mask it doesn't have all its pieces, or you forgot to take your rest of your old mask out of there. And now I'm going to try to connect my new mask. Awesome. Work no problem. All right, number five, exhalation port. So every mask has an exhalation port. Some have two. For example, this guy here that I'm, I'm demoing has two exhalation ports, one here and one here. This mask over here has just one, and that's right in the front of the mask. So you can see kind of a screen here. The benefit of the exhalation port is it allows you to exhale your CO2. You have to exhale your CO2. 
Uh, so if you feel, you're gonna feel flow coming out of there on that mask, the one I just showed you, it has two. So you're gonna feel the flow coming out of there. It's a continuous flow. It's supposed to be there. It's not an issue. It's not a leak in the mask. So the exhalation port is correct, should be there, and it's not a leak. So I hope you found this video helpful and um, you enjoyed it. And thank you.